Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be filming a what's in my purse and I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now and I thought today was pretty fitting for it. So yeah, let's just get right on into the video. So this is my purse. It's a little Michael Kors one. I honestly have absolutely no idea what this is called. Um, but it's really cute and it's really small, but there's also a shoulder strap, which I like. I don't like having purses that are too big. Um, but like this one is a little too small. I would prefer to have something more like medium size, but like, you know, it does its job. Um, so yeah, and if you look on the inside, there's a middle zipper pocket and then a pouch in the front and a pouch in the back. So I'm going to start with this front pouch right here. The first thing I have are my keys and my lanyard is just a Washington State University one. Um, and then I have my little gym card, this little cute thing I got from Old Town San Diego, and then just my car keys. Pretty simple. And then I have this little pouch and this is for change. I got it from Forever 21 for like $3 or something like a while ago, but it's really, really nice to have a little like change pouch because I hate when coins are flying around in my purse and it's nice to just have somewhere to put it honestly. And you can also use this like if you're a student and you wanna have like cash or something on you for school, but you don't wanna bring your entire wallet. This is also a little great place to keep like small bills and stuff. And then I have this hair tie that I believe I also got from Forever 21. It is so cute. I use this for work a lot, but if I ever need to put my hair up, it's kind of a cute way to do so. And I think this will be super cute in the summer too. And I've seen these at Urban Outfitters as well, like the little hair ties with the bows on it. I don't know who invented this style, but I love it. I think these are the cutest things ever. And then I have some hand sanitizer and it's Black Cherry Merlot from Merlot, Merlot, Ooh. <laughs> from Bath and Body Works. It's really good. It just smells like cherries and it's just so yummy. I love having hand sanitizer with me at all times for obvious reasons, I feel like. It's kind of gross if you don't have hand sanitizer with you, but it's just nice to have on me as well. Like if I'm going to eat somewhere or like after I eat too, to just put some hand sanitizer on. And then I have a little perfume and this is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. This is so nice. Like it's so nice carrying like a um, compact perfume with you. If you ever forget to put perfume on, it's really embarrassing and I always like having a lot of perfume on. I don't know why. Um, so if I ever forget I have this with me or if my perfume's wearing off or if I'm like spending the night somewhere or whatever, it's always nice to just have a little perfume with you. And then I have my AirPods. <laughs> I don't really need to explain these. They're just good old AirPods. I use them at the gym and like for walking to classes and stuff. But they're honestly so nice to have at the gym, like to not have cords. It is a luxury, let me tell you. I think they're worth the price. And I have two or th I actually have three chapsticks in here. I have this like EOS one that I've had forever. I honestly don't even know what flavor it is. <laughs> and then I have um, Smith's Rosebud Salt. I like this for days I want my lips to look more glossy but I don't feel like putting my lip gloss on I'll use this and then I just have Burt's Bees which is my favorite chapstick and then I have two more lip products I have this Buxom lip gloss in the color Dolly this is the best lip gloss ever there's two lip glosses in this world that I think are amazing the first one is the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb one and like the pink one I think they only have one color like the pink one that is like my favorite lip gloss but over the summer I lost it and I was really sad but I wanted to try something new so I got the Buxom one because I know that they plump your lips which I really really like like the little plumping effect and the color of it is awesome so it just looks like that and then I have this Jane Iredell lipstick in the color Natalie. It's kind of like a bright, it looks like it's neon pink, but it's not. It's really, really pretty on. And then I have some Dayquil because I'm not, I don't want to be sick. I hate like, uh, I work in a restaurant and whenever like one of my coworkers gets sick, like I'm a host, so whenever like one of the hosts gets sick, then like everyone else gets sick and this is to prevent that, so if I'm ever feeling sick at work or something, I'll just go back to my locker and just take some of these. Or if I am if I am already sick, it's just, I think, nice to have Dayquil on me at all times, just in case I am, you know. I also need to carry emergency. That's like a good little reminder to myself. All right, so on the other side, I believe I only have two things, yeah. So the first thing that I have is this Erin Condren Perpetual Calendar. I have an Erin Condren Life Planner that I literally use to plan my life <laughs> and this is really nice because it basically has like a bunch of days in it like it has all of the months and stuff so if I have like an event or something and I know the dates for it I can write it in here so then when it comes to planning out the month like let's say I go to plan April like if I go to plan out April I have like a bunch of no I don't well, I only have like classes start but I have like little notes up here and stuff so when I'm planning out the month it's really nice to know kind of events that you have planned and stuff so you don't have to like actually write it on the calendar so you can make it look cute you know so I have a billion of these Big L's fun cards. Um, 
I'm actually going there tonight, but my brother works there. And it's like kind of like a bowling place if you don't know what it is. And so it's really nice to have these. And I have like a bajillion of them because my brother works there, so he just gives me them. And then my wallet is just a Michael Kors wallet. It's in like this gray color. I really, really like the color of this and I love this wallet. I will probably use this for like years to come and I think wallets are such a good investment because you use them every day. And I literally, I don't like carrying cash on me. I try to not do that. So there's like never any cash in here. I just have my license and then like some stamp cards. I have like my UNLV. I was gonna, I was supposed to go to UNLV so I have like a college ID for a college I don't go to but it comes in handy. I have my Nevada license, my debit card, library card, gift card, 50 million Big Al's cards. Yeah, so that's basically all that's in my purse. It's pretty sweet and short to the point. Does that even make sense? It's pretty straight to the point. I don't know what the word I'm trying to say is. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified every time I post. Leave a like and a comment. And another side note too is if you're still watching this, I really wanna make some fitness videos. So leave a comment if you do wanna see those because I've been like back on the gym grind and I really do wanna make like workout videos and a bunch of like fitness tips and how to eat healthy and stuff like that. And if you guys are interested in it, please let me know because I would love to film that. That would be so much fun but yeah thank you i'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye also sorry another side note if you didn't notice um my new upload schedule was i was gonna upload every day in the every single day in the month of march that was really hard just because of like life getting in the way and stuff but my upload schedule is going to be mondays wednesdays fridays and sundays um, I just find that that works really easy for me because that's when i have the most time in my day to be able to sit down film edit and all of that um, so I'm going to be doing it four times a week. So the days I will not be posting will be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays because I have way too much going on on those days. But yeah, bye actually this time.